Hey everyone, this is Robbo here at Boon Vape, and hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all a, another New World video, and this one I'm going to be showing you two more unique money makers. If you did miss my last video where I showed three easier money makers, you can see it in the link in the top right. Thanks again for all the support and the love on the last video, I really do appreciate it. If this video helps you as well, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we'll be putting out more content. On top of that, you can also catch me live at the link down below. It's twitch.tv slash boonbabe. So with that being said, this is going to be two moneymakers that you're going to require a little bit more effort, either with time or just upfront investment. But you are going to see a really good return as both of these markets are extremely niche. And I definitely would see them growing to be very, very large in the very near future. So with that being said, welcome to my crib. Here we are. Uh, this is my house over in Monarchs Bluff. This is my main base of operations at the moment. So I'm going to do a house tour as well as a house guide very soon, but that's not this video. I'm simply here because this is actually part of the moneymaker and it's making furniture, not any furniture, but very particular pieces such as this piece right here. So when I walk in, I have this chest. And this is really nice because it connects directly to your bank for the region. So you can see all the stuff that I have stored here in Monarch's Bluff, which is quite a bit. And you can see that I have a lot of storage space here. That is actually because of this chest. So normally you get around a thousand and you of course can upgrade it as you upgrade the region. But by having a chest in your house, you're gonna increase that by an additional 200. Now that may not sound like a lot, but once you get into the later games, you can have a even bigger chest and you can have up to four of them. Of course, right now that doesn't sound like it's gonna be that good of an investment because expensive houses with expensive items and no one really has a house. Not many people have them or have invested into them, but that's one of the great things about this particular item is if you invest in it now, everyone is gonna have a house in the end game, I promise you this. And eventually they're gonna to wanna to get the biggest house which can fit four chests. So if you think about it, if there's 2000 people on a server with four chests in each house, that is a huge chance for profit there. So I would recommend taking advantage of this now and I'll show you how to make them in just a second. So this video is going to be a little bit different compared to the other one as the other one is really easy money makers that a lot of people are starting to delve into now. And while they are still good, effective money makers that I still use currently, this is going to be, like I said, a little bit more niche and something that's just a lot less common that I'm sure will come around and be much more profitable, especially because not again, many people are not putting a lot of time into this because there is quite a bit of upfront costs when it comes to making furniture. And the next one, it does have a bit of upfront time investment before you're going to make a lot of profit. So with that being said, we can go over to the workshop and scroll down to the furniture. So once you're down here in the furniture, of course, everyone can make these ash tables and stuff like that, but that's not what we're interested at all. We're looking for these hewn log storage chests. So not a lot of materials you'll notice going into this to actually make it. 30 timber, 15 iron, some ash, which is essentially free at this point, and a minor rune of holding. This is similar to making bags if you are experienced with that or if you saw my last video. And it's also similar to bags in that not a ton of people are doing it, if any people at all. I haven't seen any of these on the market. As far as everything required in order to make these storage chests, they are not very expensive and it's very easy to obtain them. So I would get into this now, like I said, because not even just these storage chests are going to be worth it. There's a lot of decorations and really nice other things for houses that people are going to be willing to pay a lot for. And like you can see down here, there are practically no uh, furniture options down at the higher levels. So with that being said, you're going to want to get your hands on a lot of recipes early on as well, because in order to get the higher tier chests, those are also going to be recipes. If we type in chests here, you can see the highest tier chest you can get is currently the iron storage chest, which is definitely not the highest chest you can get. But even these are going to sell for a lot because no one again has access to this so if you're able to jump on this get to 85 furnishing which i know is a big ask and a lot of money up front but i'm certain you're going to see a return on this and once you get here getting all these materials is very easy very quick again 
So that's going to be it for the first moneymaker. Let's jump on to the second one, which you can actually start getting into now. Like I said, there is going to be a little bit of a time investment if you want to see the big bucks, but you can even get started making profit right now. All right, so here we are over at a place I'm sure everyone is familiar with at this point, and this is going to be the project board. So in every town, if you don't know, there's a project board and they ask for things to help complete projects they're working on. This is going to give you standing experience and gold. So you might be wondering why we're standing here in a money making video, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. So if we go up to the project board, if I'm lucky, there's going to be a quest for it. If not, it's totally fine. So as you can see, not lucky this time, there's not a quest for it. But what we're looking for in particular is the quests that are asking for potions. Of course, all this other stuff is great, and you can kind of utilize the strategy with the other items, but these are pretty readily available, so these aren't going to actually fetch you that much of a price. But we're looking for potions, specifically the tier 2 common potions. A lot of these quests are asking for the tier 1 weak potions, as well as some of the tier 2 common potions, and that is where we're going to be taking advantage of the quest system and making it so that you can make a lot of money even right now. So here we have one more stop before we get to showing you how to make the potions. I'm over here at the trading post and I simply wanted to show you how much money you can make right now on something as easy to make as the common health potion. Of course, most people are still going to be making the weak health potion and that's fine and dandy, but a lot of people are moving on to the common potions and are really using them up by the dozen. Not just for these quests, but for any tanks or anyone that is in melee in particular. I know a lot of me and my melee brethren are all drinking down these potions as fast as we can get them. And we don't really want to spend time and go and forge for them. We just want to get them now so we can go do dungeon runs and stuff like that. Which is really what costs all of these common health potions. You really just run through them as fast as you get them. And that's why these are so expensive. So they're expensive and you might not think it, but 20 gold, if you use 40 or 50 per dungeon, that's going to be quite a bit of money. You're looking at thousands of gold at this point just for making some potions. And these are kind of hard to come by if you're not looking for them. But if you do set up a really easy gathering farming route for all the materials you need, it's actually really easy to make hundreds of these every so often, especially if you just go do a farming run, get all of the... Uh, items you need and then go do some quests by the time you come back they'll probably be respawned so you can go and do another farming run and it's a really easy consistent way to make money and like i said you're investing time up front in order to make a lot of money on the back end and this will only improve over time and i'll show you what i mean right now here we are at the arcane repository this is where you're going to be making all the potions that you need for the big money now, if you scroll down here, like I said, initially, these weak potions are what everyone's going to be using. And you can still make some money on this as they're really easy to come by. On top of that, these are the ones that are going to be making you the significant portion of your money. And this is going to be the common potions, mainly the health potions and the mana potions. I haven't seen too many people requesting the regeneration potions. But like I showed you earlier, 20 gold. So as you can see here, I haven't been farming these items at all but I happen to have 60 of them just from questing. So like I said, it's not unrealistic to be making like small roots around certain areas that you know things like this grow and making a couple thousand gold every root. But if I did randomly want to make some money or turn this into these mana potions, I could make 60 of them, sell them. That's a cool 1200 gold that you just came into for practically no work. And this is on the low end. If we look at health potions in the search right here, if I could spell, then you can see, of course, they continue on. This is kind of similar to our other money makers we talked about in the other video, where you're going to be seeing a trend as if you do go down this route, as well as the other route, you're just going to be able to make more and more of the same thing, but stronger, and people are going to be willing to pay more and more especially if you're the first person to make it there. So with that being said, I would highly recommend going down this route. These strong potions are going to be very sought after. And once you get down here, these infused health potions are going to be very, very sought after. You're going to have the highest level tanks of all of the companies 
asking for you by name if you have these on tap because these are going to be incredibly, incredibly important whenever you do go to the end game dungeons. And like I said, it definitely pays to be first. So I'd recommend getting on this now if you plan on making this one of your primary money makers. So with that being said, that brings us to the end of the video. Only two money makers this video. I am slowly adding more and more to my repertoire, which I will slowly be giving to you as well. And I've really been enjoying the game. I really hope this video helped you all out. And honestly, I'm going through all of the different crafting, gathering, everything to see what is making a really nice penny and some markets that I see that are really open for people to take advantage of them. So that's going to be about it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.